as gardens have gotten smaller, we're all looking for smaller plants, and that includes trees. I'm with Lee Powell from Garland Nursery, and Lee, you have quite a selection for us today. Yeah, I pulled five or six trees that are for small spaces, and what I included were all trees that I think will stay about 15 feet and under. Ah, so that's pretty nice. And even a flowering tree, because I know it's hard to get something small, so this is gorgeous. And especially a flowering tree uh, this time of year, which is uh, mid-August to late August, and uh, this one's the Harlequin Glory Bower. It's a tree that probably will get 15 feet tall, white flowers, very fragrant, mm -hmm. and then it, it uh, develops a a bract that's kind of a purplish color, and it's really this. actually very attractive once the flowers drop and the, and the, and the bracts are, are showing through. Yeah, it really is a nice for this time of the season. And now you have one that I just love because it's almost a four season because it has ornamental bark and beautiful foliage. And this is crepe myrtle. This one is called Tonto, but they make a lot of these crepe myrtles into a tree form. Mm -hmm. The natural form is more of a shrubby, multi-stemmed form, but it does. It, it blooms this time of year. This one's a little late, <laughs> but normally it's going to bloom late August through uh, September. And a lot of different colors, pinks, whites, purples, um, really fantastic. And the bark is wonderful in the winter. It is pretty. And then here's an evergreen one, which is nice to have something evergreen in your yard. So this is an evergreen small tree for afternoon shade. Mm -hmm. So for the people that have shade but still want a patio tree, this makes a wonderful specimen. Uh, nice small leaves. Uh, it gets a flower in the uh, February, March, sometime in that, that range. It's not real showy, but still a nice little touch. And dark green foliage, kind of taller than it is wide. Real wonderful little uh, lacy, dainty Tree. And this one's called Azara, and William thinks that the flowers smell like Cadbury chocolate eggs. So yes. really, that's really a good point on it. And then this one I like because it's kind of a more narrow habit for this um, variety. So most people have heard of red bud trees, mm -hmm. and the eastern red bud is the traditional one that we think of, but it gets 30 feet by 30 wow. feet. Avondale is a smaller version. It's going to top out at about 15 feet, still gets the wonderful pink blossoms along mm -hmm. the stem. Uh, the foliage is a little glossier. This is a little dusty right now, but the foliage is a little glossier in your yard and still pretty nice fall color. Ah, nice. And then, of course, Japanese maple, there's all kinds. So this Japanese maple is a dwarf that gets about eight feet tall. So it's oh. on the smaller mm -hmm. end of our, our, our small tree spectrum here. And it is called Ariadne. There are, I mean, I brought this out because it has really cool foliage, but there are so many Japanese yes. maples that fit into this category. I'd just go to your local nursery and you can find a number of different choices that would be in that 15 feet and under category. Ah, that is nice. And then Rosa Sharon, that is just nice, another late bloomer. Yes, this is an August, uh, September bloomer. Um, this one's called Minerva. Uh, these Rose of Sharon trees also come in doubles, which is kind oh, of nice. And it's one that you can prune pretty heavily each year and keep into a nice tight round form if you'd like. It can go in a container or in the ground and uh, it really gives you some great color for the, the late summer, early fall season. Ah, so really, there are so many different ones. You know, sometimes you think about it, oh, I have maybe two choices, but you showed us so many choices, and I bet here at Garland you have so many more to choose oh, from. Oh, many, many more, <laughs> definitely. Thank you. Well, if you're looking for anything for your smaller garden, please come out to Garland Nursery, talk to Lee and his staff, and really get something to take home and plant today. Thanks so much. Thank you.